I'm a slay queen and looking good is serious business. This is coming from Token Makinwa as she slams naysayers. So from what I gathered, she had um, a speech. Is it a speech in a panel session yeah. at um, Harvard? And um, she was part of a panelist and she puts some parts of her conversation on her story. And people were like, oh, wow, I never knew that. Okay. According to her, she didn't show screenshots. <laughs> we never, I mean, nobody, it's possible nobody fair said, enough, you know, enough, anything. Yeah. But, you know, it's, uh, you have to be in the news. So she said, they said that uh, we didn't, we did not see you as uh, that kind of person. You look more like a slay queen and blah, blah, blah. And she is saying that, I mean, slay queen and looking good is her business. And that's, um, it's, it's her brand or how she put it's good so business. It's good business. So that she will keep living her path, living her truth, being herself, and she doesn't care about what anybody says anymore. Hmm. Um, Go Toki. I just think Toki is um, living her best life, if you ask me. Hmm. I heard so, she's done the lip um, thing. Fillers. Yeah, lip mm. fillers. Um, she's a businesswoman in all ramifications. Um, mm -hmm. She's what? In all ramifications. Yeah. Hmm. If you ask me, because okay. um, yeah, we asked you. Go ahead, go ahead. On. When I say ramification, <laughs> you can you can interpret that whichever way you want. You said but all ramifications. Yeah, you can. It's okay. Let, let, let's yeah, go, let, ahead, yeah. go ahead. You can interpret the all ramification whichever way you want, all but right. it's still a business. Um, and I totally. <laughs> <laughs> and I totally respect her grind. You feel me? Like um, she's the typical example of you can't bring me down. You get and oh. she can. Sorry, it was supposed to be in my head. Go on. Okay, you can't bring me down. And she keeps doing the thing, and um, whether you like it or not, she's winning. And that's one thing I respect about her. As long as you keep winning, I really don't care what people say about me. As long as I keep winning, and Tokyo okay, keeps winning. So How do you know that? Well, like, what are you basing that fact on? That she's winning. What's she winning? at like what is it the funds because you don't know how bank account like what is it the funds yeah what what is she winning at it's okay has a house of her own she lives comfortably she is she is a brand ambassador she she has different brands that she's working for oh. she's uh, making money she's uh um what's it called successful on her personality she's uh she, it's okay is winning if you ask me, she has a vlog that has a lot of views. She's making money off YouTube. She's doing a lot of things that a lot of people can't or wish they could. So mm. she's winning, regardless of how you want to look at it. Unless you want to look at it from the hater's eye, which mm. I'm not a hater. On this particular thing, not in general. I'm not. I'm not a hater um, in general. Oh, he he actually has a crush on Tokyo. Oh, that's yeah. nice. No, she I used fake. to. Type, you like you can still admit to having crushes even when you're in a relationship. I hope you know that. What? I'm just saying. <laughs> um, so dear so girlfriend, girlfriend. He, she loves you. I mean, he loves you. <laughs> you want to say something? Um, I, I'm just pulling at you. I have to agree with um, Ife on that as well. In, the, in, terms that, in terms of, you know, when I read this story, I actually thought about Paris Hilton. She's a very good example. And I think our OG when it comes to Slay Queens. Um, she w she has talked a lot, but people don't really tend to follow her or take her seriously. But she's done a lot of documentaries and interviews where you you would see how she actually built that image of the dumb mm -hmm. blonde, and she used it to build like, a whole entire empire. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a serious business, absolutely. So in looking nice, um, I think it's when you when you lose vision and you are just following somebody else's footsteps, that's when it can look like you're being a joke in this slay queen business. But if you're very um, deliberate about it, people are putting food on their table by looking nice and posing pretty and looking like she said like looking like a dumb blonde or we don't really have blondes in, like, in the, the black race but you know what I mean just that like that look and stuff but um, in, in I, I also know that um, Toke likes to um, will I say over like stretch I don't know how to explain it because I really have to st also bounce on what you were saying about not ha not having many people who think like that. I don't think Toke actually has people who look at her and say that she's dumb. She's an author before the speech, so mm -hmm. it would be weird. And she's always been on radio talking yes, about she's, yeah, political even, issues, yeah. lifestyle and she has issues. A blog and mm -hmm. They don't sound even dumb her blog. Like time. you look at Paris Hilton, she never said say? anything. They don't sound dumb all the time. Yeah, she yeah, goes. She, she talks dumb sometimes. So, of course, <laughs> no, but she still I, I don't goes agree in to something she says in a vlog. But the fact that you don't agree doesn't mean it's dumb. It's dumb. Yes. Yeah, it's dumb to me. Okay. Well, well, I agree. I understand what you're trying to say because even with Paris, for example, even Kim before now, before this recent Kim, Kim back then when the you never saw her talk about anything deep. 
Um, it was just superficial stuff. But so I think is it's it always must been... everybody talk about something deep? You can just be fly, look good. Of course. You can be on the surface. Of course. What I'm saying smart. is that what I'm saying is that she's never even been that person mm -hmm. to say that we are expecting that. I don't know who is saying these things. I didn't I went through her comments. I didn't see anything but mm -hmm. it was on her story. Mm -hmm. Anyway, her yeah, her but head. I didn't I didn't really see, I didn't really see her as someone who's ever tried to just act blonde or on the surface. She always tries to go deep and really give you advice and talk about life and how advice to handle that. you allowed to mm -hmm. take another woman's husband and when, stuff. When did like she do that? Yeah, there are times that she'll tell you that if you're dating a married man, you're not sure you're getting money. That that's, was that's from Messi Aigbe. No, no, before I Messi feel like that's Aigbe. the opposite of what she stands no? for because I, I've, I've never to, heard to her always say anything about like that. Um, infidelity and like cheating and things oh, like that. Yeah, she, I, I think that's the, her, the, her yeah. opposite. Okay, so please don't misinterpret her or don't take her. I don't mean to interpret her, don't worry. To say, to say, baby girl, like she said, she's a slay queen. I mean, she's a queen of baby girls, right? Yeah. Like she calls herself, and I have to say, I mean, I've said this before though, but I will repeat it again. I admire her, her consistency, like mm. she's been on it. Toke is the only, I mean, I can say the only person that you would say she has a team for her outlook for the year like she has a calendar for her outlook she puts in a lot of effort everything you see on her page is it's calculated yeah. yes so she knows what she do she's doing she knows what she wants she knows what she wants to get out of it yeah of course sometimes when we look at what she does i might cringe mm. but i mean as long as she's happy as long as she's fine as long as she's better than where she's coming from yeah i'm fine yeah. i'm good with when it. i look at what she does i look again i don't cringe and that's why I'm saying what you said she's winning because I feel like that's the opposite of what she she tries to preach. Like she, I, 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 I'm not a fan and I don't digest her content. But when I do, I see she tries to balance things out. I listen because it was a few a few weeks ago she was in the news about saying don't admire my life because mm -hmm. you don't know what's going on behind. So mm -hmm. it's not even the winning idea, the winning terminology. It's like in what aspects because mm -hmm. not, you can't win in everything. I'm not talking about the part that I know of. I'm talking about the part I can see and what I can see. She's obviously winning. Say that again. Sorry. Oh, never mind. It's fine. Go on. Rewind the tape if you want to hear that again. Legends don't speak twice. Sure.